Hello everyone, Joe Fernandez here, and I'll be going over an Enhancement Shaman playstyle guide. We will be going over a detailed playstyle of Enhancement, but before that, I'll go over talents, traits, and composition updates. Turbo and Enhanced Shadow Priest Resto Shaman are your best comps right now. They are tier 1 and it's due to how much pressure both comps have, as well as durability. Enhancement Shaman helps in both of these demands, having very high pressure and burst damage, as well as incredible off heals to help with your team's survival. Other comps that I believe could be great in the current meta are Survival Beast Cleave and Enhanced Boomkin. The main trait you'd ideally want is Strength of Earth. This helps buff your next ability, dealing incredible damage with both burst and passive damage. Other traits that can be powerful are Laser Matrix, Archive of the Titans, Dagger in the Back, Champion of Azeroth, Resin's Fury, Battlefield Focus or Precision, and Natural Harmony. Your main go-to talents will look something like this now. Lightning Shield will always be the go-to paired with Forceful Winds. Searing Assault now overtakes Overcharge due to the Overcharge being lackluster and not having the spare global to use it off cooldown. Ascendance also offers another powerful way to get defensive cooldowns and give you ranged damage, by passing through high armor as well, ideal for slaying your enemies. There are four main aspects of Enhancement Shaman that are critical to maximizing the spec to its fullest. Those are dealing great damage, stopping or disrupting CC, off healing and kiting. We will go through all these aspects in depth to give you an understanding of why these are valuable and how to execute them on your Enhancement Shaman effectively. Dealing great damage is an easy concept to playing a damage dealer in general, but maximizing your rotation can be the key to winning matchups, especially in games where you win on mana. Enhancement has a number of honor talents that can increase your overall damage, which can be taken when struggling to get kills or when there is a lack of pressure. These talents are Forked Lightning, Ride the Lightning, and Static Cling. These three talents will passively increase your damage, proccing every time you use Storm Strike, doing an insane amount of damage. Forked Lightning and Ride the Lightning will increase DPS both single target and multi target by a ton. In fact, Forked Lightning is usually number one on damage and I highly recommend having this talent at all times. Bear in mind, these two talents will break CC, which may be needed for your team's win conditions. Static Cling, however, won't break CC and will increase your single target damage only, increasing your burst damage on the target of your choice. You can take a multiple selection of these talents when needing a lot of damage to win arena games. As stated before, Forked Lightning will usually be a main honor talent choice that you will keep all the time. As for Ride the Lightning, this talent is great for melee or hunter cleaves, where you can obliviously kill pets or secondary targets through the power of these honor talents. The most burst damage an Enhancement Shaman can do in a global is with Sundering. It does a high amount of burst damage as well as potentially interrupt casts or niche mechanics such as knocking a druid's wild charge. When timing Sundering well, you can force major defensive cooldowns or simply kill them if the enemy target is low enough on HP. Another main cooldown for bursting is Ascendance. This can cause great havoc when timed well and gives you powerful range damage. When timed well, Ascendance can give you potential kills or force big defensive cooldowns, being the big reason why it's an excellent talent's choice for arenas. Taking these honor talents in an arena game and maximizing your DPS will be a big reason why an Enhancement Shaman can turn the tides in arena games. It's simple yet incredibly effective. In some top tier matchups, the most important trait for a top tier Enhancement Shaman to have is their ability to stop or disrupt CC. Stopping CC is important as it can make you and your partners live, which is the main way Enhancement Shamans win their arena games. The tools you have for stopping CC as an Enhancement Shaman are Wind Shear, Tremor Totem, Grounding Totem, and Sundering. Wind Shear is your normal interrupt that has a 12 second cooldown and a 30 yard range, making it a lot easier to land on targets. Using it on casts such as Polymorph, Fear, or Cyclone is ideal when the enemy team is looking to CC or chain CC your healer, as it will keep your healer free, allowing you to play offensively again. 
Having Grounding Totem is a caster's nightmare, as it can stop or disrupt any single target CC by itself, including multiple casts at the same time. For example, you can stop Cyclone and Polymorph with the use of one Grounding Totem. It can also negate heavy burst damage as well, making it highly valuable against most caster comps. Using it to stop CC on your healer is very effective, but you must time it well because using it too early means it could be killed and not negate any CC. Using it too late means you won't stop the CC and waste the use of the totem. Having Tremor Totem again has been a blessing for shamans. This completely removes fear, charm and sleep effects from you and your partners. This will be mainly used as removal of CC on your healer, getting rid of their fear or hibernate effects which again will be great for sustaining your team and work more on your win condition. Although Sundering is used mainly for damage, you could use it as another interrupt on casts in case you are vulnerable from death. Disrupting an important cast when you don't have Windshield or Grounding Totem ready can be another important lifesaver. Having its use in this rare opportunity can be the difference between living or dying during CC chains on your healer as it will disrupt them. There may be ample times against certain comps such as RMD or God Comp where you will need to use many of these spells to disrupt multiple CC in order to survive and eventually win. The best enhancement shamans would assess this in the moment and react by using the necessary abilities to live without overusing too much as that could make offensive goes from the opposition later on big moments when you can lose. In BFA, Enhancement can do a crazy amount of off healing. This makes it incredibly powerful in the current meta, as you can use it mainly when your healer is in CC, having a much easier time to live against the enemy team when free. Healing Surge is the main source of Enhancement Shaman's healing throughput. It does a significant amount of healing to you or your partner of choice, allowing you to heal through passive or even burst pressure to live through the enemy's damage. You'd want to use this when you're taking too much damage, when your healer is in CC, whilst you struggle to live, or even as a free global when your damage abilities are on cooldown, as this will maximize your efficiency of playing Enhance. Swelling Waves is an excellent talent to increase healing on yourself, which is very useful against teams that aim to kill you. This will increase your healing power even more and make you much more durable, especially against teams without a Mortal Strike debuff. Having Earth Shield will also increase healing on you or your partner of choice, which adds a little more to their survivability. Make sure to change it on the right target that's taking damage as every little bit of healing can be the difference of living or saving defensive cooldowns. There may be moments where you have to spam heals in order to live, although this is a great strength of Enhancement Shaman. Living in situations where most other classes would die due to the amount of insane off heals you have gives you a big advantage to survive and have another chance at slaying your enemies. Kiting is another way to help enhancement survive effectively. Sometimes you may not be able to stop CC, so kiting may be your best option to take less damage and try to live offensive goes from the enemy team. These situations may not arise often, but when they do, it's important to do so as otherwise you could lose. The main tool that allows an enhanced to kite is Ghost Wolf. This stops snares hindering you, so if the enemy team is snared, you will run faster, resulting in kiting the enemy. Other talents that can increase the effectiveness of Ghost Wolf are Spirit Wolf and Spectral Recovery. This gives you more speed and tankiness in Ghost Wolf, ideal when you know you will be in Ghost Wolf most of the game to kite and survive. These talent choices, however, won't be used too often as usually the healing itself as well as great defensive cooldown management will be enough to help you survive. If you are struggling to live on the other hand, especially against melee, you could try utilize these spells to survive. Having a great use of defensive plays with your kiting, healing and disruption of CC allows you to live in dire situations that would otherwise kill you. Being able to do these things well in arena games makes it very hard for the enemy to kill you and makes the arena match sway in your favour, usually resulting in your own win, if you keep up with doing great damage as well.
that's everything on Enhancement Shaman Playstyle. Make sure to plus skill this guide and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.